So what is neat about these is these are collapsed alligator snapping turtle hides. So they dig up under the bank and they keep working their way up and keep working their way up. But because they go in every single night, they go in the early morning back into their underground or, or under the bank hide. And then eventually um, they'll work at it every single time they do it. And eventually the top will start to fall off and it'll reveal where these turtles used to sit. And you can kind of see how far it goes up in there. And that's where, you know, at one point, alligator snapping turtle use this. And over time, you know, over, you know, maybe decades, uh, it starts to create more and more of those along the banks and it eventually widens out the stream. All right, after a pretty good amount of walking around, I found the first turtle uh, here in the upper part of Georgia for 2022. And of course, it's one of my favorites, the loggerhead musk turtle. And you can see this guy's been buried in Georgia clay and has that rich iron staining. Uh, a lot of that will eventually come off over the rest of the year, uh, but gives him kind of an interesting look with those reddish orange colored jaws. Awesome, really stoked to find a loggerhead musk turtle. So gonna uh, take a couple pictures of this guy and then let him go and let him get back to catching up on food and being a musk turtle. Right, I'm gonna go over here where it's a little bit shallower to release him. So I'm not just jumping him off in deep water. We'll let him go down this little thing. All right, buddy. There he goes. All right, so this is a classic example here of how musk turtles bask in interesting ways. You can see this guy is about two and a half feet above the water in like a weird little snag. I don't know if I, yeah, he, there he goes. <laughs> Super cool to see that every time. All right, so this little floodplain swamp is a good place to see painted turtles, stink pots, mud turtles. Uh, I've caught a common snapping turtle couple times in here. Um, there's also some cooters and random soft shells. I think that might be a turtle right there. Something just went through this mud. Yep, there we go. That is a painted turtle. You can see taking off through there. Ah, if I'd had a better glimpse. Thing is, as you jump in here, you're gonna sink up to your waist. Uh, I think the last time I was here, I caught a common snapper and that was the exact scenario. I jumped in sink immediately to my waist and almost couldn't even get out. But uh, yeah, classic example of painted turtle habitat. They love these little kind of dammed up slow areas of basically where a creek gets dammed up and stops moving and becomes a shallow wide pond. Classic painted turtle habitat. So when I get into these areas where it's a lot of decomposing leaves and just kind of muck on the bottom, uh, what I like to do is just kind of stop and really just stay motionless or close to it and just kind of look around and observe. Uh, if there is anything moving around in those leaves, eventually you'll start to see it. You'll start to see some motion. Um, it'll sometimes release some ripples or some bubbles, uh, but the best thing is just stand and stare. And you know, if there's any decent activity going on, eventually you'll start to see something. Um, another thing to look for is you'll start to see some tracks, especially if there's a, you know, a snapper or something like that, it'll leave some pretty noticeable tracks, especially when it's moving through some mud and muck like this. Also it doesn't hurt just to enjoy the nice day. Look at that. So right there, center screen is a hawk and he had a little corn snake and I was trying to catch up and get a good clip of him with a corn snake on the ground and he keeps flying away with it. But you know, everybody's gotta eat, you know, just cause we like herps and we like snakes. You know, hawks gotta eat too. That's, that's how it goes, but Kind of a bummer. I would have liked to have gotten a chance to film that corn snake before this red-shouldered hawk got a hold of it, but um, you know, that's life, man. Shallow pool, center of your screen is some kind of, I think that might even actually be a cooter maybe? Cooter or a slide, there he goes. Dove right in in this shallow, disgusting pool. Very orange, very orange, very soupy. But this is likely where this turtle has spent most of the winter, kind of buried underneath and same warm there we go, his head's up over there. I know hard to see on this screen, phones don't have a whole lot of usable zoom. 
Right, so right here, the surface of this area is kind of covered in pollen, um, a lot of algae built up from the decomposing vegetation, bringing in nitrates and causing an algal bloom. Um, and there may even be a little bit of duckweed in there. Painted turtle just took off. Uh, there was no way I was gonna grab that. But what's really neat is when you get some kind of covering on the water like this, the turtles can't really see you. So it gives you a chance, you can kind of sneak up on them a little bit. There's another head over there. Um, sometimes you'll see like a shell just kind of moving through the water. Um, there's a good size, I think that's a snapping turtle over there. Uh, just made a really big opening in that algae. So it uh, gives you a chance to kind of sneak up on them. Um, if that snapper moves any closer, I might have a shot at it and I might try to catch it. But um, I always like to check these. Um, if you come across an area like this, give it a nice long look and you might have a really good chance at catching something cool. All right, so right there, kind of in the center of your screen, that is the back of a large common snapping turtle's head. All right, so I was checking around these grass tussocks and found in the edges was actually a lot of basking eastern painted turtles. And I was able to catch this one, and you can just see it's entirely coated in that staining from being buried down in the mud uh, on the coldest days during the winter. And that normally yellow plastron is like a deep, like uh, mahogany or almost black, but uh, you can still see there's those beautiful red stripes that painted turtles are known for and where they get their name from. And you can see along the edges of the marginals, you can also see some of that red patterning. And um, overall, just a really healthy, good looking female Eastern painted turtle and really stoked to be able to find this. Had a really good time out today. This is definitely one of the highlights. While I rarely find eastern painted turtles when I'm exploring these streams and river tributaries, uh, it is fun to actually get into a little bit of different habitat and see the different turtles that occupy it. And uh, eastern painted turtle is definitely one of them and one of my favorite turtles in the world and uh, just an awesome animal. So as always, we're gonna let this guy go. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It's been a pleasure to take you guys out herping with me. 2022 is looking good. And we're gonna just let this turtle go back to its home. See you later, friend. Look at that. What's up, boy? I love that hair. You look pretty cool. What's your name? What's your name, buddy? Yeah, you don't feel like getting in the water either. <laughs> yeah, it's a little cold. Oy, oy, oy.